Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this baseball and softball demo for New Huddle. First, we'll jump into a few recording tips and tricks, and then we'll dive into the platform. First, we'll go over a few recording tips, so make sure to capture your game from start to finish. Don't start and stop the recording at any point in the game. When you upload your film, we will automatically clip your game once it's been sent to assist. That way, each pitch is its own individual clip, and so that we can associate the breakdown data with that pitch. It's also important to keep your camera in focus and hold the camera in landscape mode to make sure that we can get the best video possible. I want to capture everything in between the first and third baseline and record the scoreboard when possible so that we can double check the score and the at-bat. Also be sure to capture every umpire signal so that's really important to leave the camera rolling the entire game so that we can keep up with what's happening. Here's a diagram of our approved recording locations. So I want to make sure that we're set up behind home plate Ideally, if you can get up a few rows so that we can help see further into the outfield and also make sure to try and limit any obstructions to get us the clearest video, which will help give us the most accurate breakdown of your film. One last recording note is that Huddle Sideline is not supported by New Huddle for baseball and softball, so you'll just need to record with a single camera behind home plate and upload that film into your account. Next, we'll talk about uploading film into your account. To start, we'll select the upload button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And on this page, we can drag and drop our video files anywhere on this page, or we can use the Select Files button, which will open up our Finder or Files app. Here, if your game is recorded into one file, you can select that file, or if you have multiple files, you can Shift-click or Command-click to highlight multiple files and then select Open. We'll now see these files have opened up on the Uploader page. It's important to check that we are ordering by file name if you've renamed your files, or if you select original order, that will order them by the timestamp given to the file name by the camera. Then we'll be able to select upload to begin this process. We'll see a status bar on under each clip, and then we'll also see a progress report at the top. We'll be able to select whether this video is game, practice, or scout film, and also we can attach it to a schedule entry. So we'll see all of our games here have game film already. So we can add this as a scout film to one of these entries. We can retitle this video, but you'll see it's automatically given a title from the scheduled event. And you'll also see that we can send this film off to assist once it's been uploaded. To do this, we'll select send to assist. To do this, we'll check send to huddle assist and then save and send to huddle assist to fill out the submission details. Here we're able to rate our last breakdown. And then once we enter in the team that we're looking to scout, you'll see the submission form where we can enter in all of our details. So we'll type in, we'll enter in who batted first, enter in our jersey colors for the game so that we break it down from the right perspective. And you can also add your batters and pitchers by their jersey numbers. And be sure to leave us a note if anything strange happened, um, especially with pitching changes. This is super helpful for our analysts. And then once that's all been done, we'll send to Huddle Assist and you'll get your game back within 24 hours. Next, we'll take a look at our library. You'll see it is organized by opponent instead of schedule entries. We can click under any of these teams and see year over year any of the film associated with them. You can also select your team from the top and see all of your game footage. In this example, you'll see that we can also now select multiple games to analyze at the same time. So once we select those from the right hand side, we can select play. And this will bring us into the video player. You'll see here we have our grid of data down at the bottom with our tendency cards on the side. Within this breakdown layout, we can also move those tendency cards to the right hand side. Another layout option we have is Analyze, which is just the tendency cards. And again, you can move that to the left or right hand side. This makes the video player a little bit bigger while you're looking at your data. And lastly, we have the Watch tab, which is just the video. This is really helpful for once you've got all of your clips filtered out and you're just focusing on the video and looking at techniques. On the breakdown layout, we'll go back to these tendency cards. These are all dynamic filters. 
So if we wanted to analyze our team at the plate with the OO count, we can look at our first pitch approach. We can continue scrolling through these to see if there's anything else we want to filter by. We can filter by athlete. And you'll see we've taken these three games down and are now looking at just these seven clips. We can save these filters. So if this is something that you look at each week, go up to this blue button in the top left corner and we can save these filters. We can name that filter set. And the next time we wanna apply these filters, we'll open up this module and then click to apply these filters. We can also clear these filters and go back to viewing all of the video here. If we want to send these clips to the playlist, we can go back to these quick filters, apply the saved filter, and then when we go to add these seven clips to a playlist, we will select the blue circle on the bottom left hand corner to select all playlists. We can select add to, and this is where we will title our playlist. And once we hit the check mark, that will save the playlist. And you'll see that we've got this created now and can continue contributing clips to that playlist throughout the season. Next, we'll go over editing data from the grid. We'll open up one of our playlists with data on it. And you'll see here is your grid below the video. This is where all of the data from assist will appear and what our tendency cards on the right hand side reference. If there is a cell that needs to be corrected, you can edit that data by simply double clicking into that cell and then selecting the updated data. You'll see here that there are some columns that assist does not track like pitch type and swing type. This is for you to enter in. And once you start entering in pitch types, you will also see more data fields appear in the tendency cards over on the right hand side. So now that we've entered fastball, we can now filter by that pitch type there. If we're looking to add clips to our athletes highlights, we can apply our quick filter from earlier. This will pull up these 35 clips here. And then once we select and highlight the clips that we'd like by checking the blue circle on the left hand side, we can select add to and instead of creating a new playlist or adding to the existing playlist, we will select the athletes drop down. And then we will add that to the highlights for that athlete. Then you'll see a green confirmation banner that, that, is, that those clips have been sent to that athlete's highlights. To navigate to another playlist, simply select the drop down from the top left corner. You'll see here that we can change the videos that are appearing in the video player. We can also go back to the main library by clicking on our team in the top left hand corner. You can now segment your film with a new huddle. So we'll go over an example of how to clip out our practice film. We've got a practice film under this central entry. So we'll open up this playlist. We'll see this was a 40 minute practice video that was uploaded as one clip. For the first time now with a new huddle, you are able to auto clip this film. So we'll go to manage clips and you'll see below the grid here, we have an option to auto clip. You can either select how many clips you would like to split up to or have it clip by a duration of seconds and minutes. So if we want to split this out so that it will clip out every five minutes, I'll type in five and select create clips. And you'll now see that we've generated nine clips at the bottom of the film here. If we want to go back to the original one file, we can select all clips and then merge the clips back together. And you'll see this option again to clip our film. If we want this film to be split up into 10 different clips and then realize that there is a certain moment within this clip that we'd like to split out, you can also drag the progress bar across the video. And once you've got the progress bar highlighted, we can select split. You'll see that now we have 11 clips and that we've got this new clip created at the one minute and 19 second mark. The other way to segment your film is by starting and stopping the camera during the recording. So if you have somebody already splitting it out by practice session, you can upload the multiple files and it will clip out where you've stopped the video. We'd love if you have any feedback for new huddle or different features that you might be looking for or think would be helpful to leave us some feedback here at the top. There is a yellow banner. You're able to click into that banner and you'll see a chat box. 
So just give us some recommendations or any feedback on the product and then hit the send button and that will be sent directly to our product team for us to look through and we may be reaching out to get a little more information on that.